To write the Lewis structure for SBH3, the first thing we need to do is count up the valence electrons. Sb, that has five, and hydrogen group one has one, but we have three hydrogen atoms, so five plus three, eight total valence electrons for the SBH3 Lewis structure. Hydrogens always go on the outside of our Lewis structure, so we'll put this antimony in the middle, and then let's put our hydrogens around the outside. We have eight total valence electrons, so we'll put two between atoms to form the chemical bonds. That'll use up six of our valence electrons, and then the last two, we'll put that on top of the antimony there, the Sb, and that'll complete its octet. So at this point, we have eight valence electrons around the Sb, that has an octet, and each hydrogen, it only needs two valence electrons to have a full outer shell. Let's look at the molecular geometry for a minute. So when we look at the molecular geometry for SBH3, we have this lone pair here. That's these electrons right here. So that's pushing the hydrogen atoms down. We end up with a trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry for SB. And you see the bond angles here between the hydrogens are listed. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for SBH3. Thanks for watching.